A first of its kind mission to clean up the Pacific Ocean just launched from the San Francisco Bay. If it works as designed, it could help clean up trillions of tons of plastic. New tonight, Katie Nielsen has more on the system headed out to a massive island of trash in the Pacific Ocean. It looks like a giant pipeline. This 2,000 foot long contraption was towed out to sea for the first time today. And in five to six weeks, it will make it to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's halfway between here and Hawaii, uh, and it contains about 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. The massive floating island of trash is 600,000 square miles, which is twice the size of Texas. It's made up mostly of plastic garbage that's found its way into the ocean over the past 60 years and also discarded fishing equipment. If you were to skim that with boats and nets, it would take around 79,000 years. But this system from the ocean cleanup is designed to do it faster. We expect to remove around half this great Pacific garbage patch every five years. 24-year-old Dutch inventor Boyan Slat came up with the idea when he was on vacation in Greece and saw trash piled up on the beach. Coastlines are very effective ways of catching plastic, but the thing is that in those vast ocean garbage patches, there's simply no coastlines to catch any plastic. So Slat created a floating coastline. Here's how it works. Once the collection system is towed to the garbage patch, it floats freely with ocean currents and forms a U-shape to corral the trash. A skirt about 10 feet deep will catch the plastic, and a ship will then collect it and bring it back to San Francisco to be recycled. It's very much an idea worth testing, but if we clean that up and don't stop the plastics at the source, we've, we have an even bigger problem.